Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to today's uh, Sugar Club YouTube video. So we are uh, now going to be briefly discussing with you the four different types of uh, insulin you may encounter. So the four different types uh, we're going to be going over today include the rapid acting, short acting, intermediate acting, and long acting. So now we're going to be exploring the differences. The rapid acting insulin itself is uh, one that's usually taken prior to a meal. So this one is usually taken three times a day before breakfast, before lunch, and before dinner. It you, starts to work within five to 20 minutes of the injection itself and uh, the peak effect is usually uh, done after an hour or an hour and a half however different insulin types could range and so you could have this go um, just be 30 minutes after your injection up all the way up to like two hours after injection and this type of uh, insulin usually uh, lasts for three to five hours and it's very similar to the insulin um, that your body itself produces you might have seen this as either the humalog or like Novo Rapid pens, um, and it's usually taken to counter the effects of the carbohydrates that you take uh, in during your meals, and so it's usually set to the, the carbohydrate amount, and it will counter the effects of that like blood sugar spike you usually have after the meal. In a comparison, short-acting insulin, kind of similar to the uh, rapid-acting insulin, but this one starts to work uh, within 10 to 30 minutes. So it's a little bit of a longer time of onset. Um, and then it peaks usually within two to five hours after the injection, again, depending on the different types. The one in the picture here is a Humulin R. And this type of uh, insulin usually lasts just over six hours. Uh, again, that depends on the specific model um, of short acting insulin you choose to, to, to take. So now moving on to intermediate acting insulin. Uh, it's another class of medicine used to control blood sugar in people with type one and type, type two diabetes. Um, so intermediate acting insulin is often referred to as a background or basal insulin and can often appear to be cloudy in nature, thus needing to be mixed well. So this is because it contains a buffer that makes it work over a long time, uh, resulting in a cloudy appearance. So it's usually administered before a meal. It can be taken in combination with uh, short-acting insulin um, and its action is typically uh, initiated with within 60 to 90 minutes uh, of injecting and is followed by a period of peak activity that occurs between 4 to 12 hours. So it usually tends to last uh, for between 16 to 24 hours, but that once again depends on the um, type of uh, intermediate acting insulin that you decide to take. So an example is neutral protamine hagadorn, so NPH, uh, also known as isophane insulin. So that is a common type of uh, intermediate acting insulin that you may see. Uh, and now moving on to long acting insulin. So uh, that also helps stabilize blood sugar uh, in people with diabetes. It usually takes the longest amount of time to start working from the four types that we are discussing in today's video. So long acting insulin can take effect uh, several hours after injection. So it usually starts to work between two to four hours. Um, long acting insulin does not uh, have a peak time. So it works to regulate blood sugar levels at a fairly stable rate throughout the day. So in terms of duration, long acting insulin can take, um, or can work for around 24 hours or longer, but that depends on the type of medication you take. So it is important to note that long acting insulin cannot stabilize uh, post-meal blood sugar spikes. So people with type one diabetes often need to supplement their long acting insulin regimen with faster acting insulins when having a meal. So they may inject uh, short or rapid acting insulin directly before eating. Uh, and then insulin, glargine, sold under the brand name Lantis, Basiglar, and Tugio are examples you are probably familiar with. Uh, additionally, insulin Detimer, sold under the brand name Levimir, is another example of a long-acting uh, type of insulin. So just to quickly summarize, we discussed uh, four types of insulin today, which include the following. So rapid acting, short acting, intermediate acting, and long acting uh, insulin. Uh, so thank you for tuning in to watch this video, and we hope you were able to learn some new information about diabetes management with us today.